we've got some really, really good marketing predictions for 2023. And more than predictions, they're really trends that you need to be aware of. We want to get hyper niche. And I don't think you can be niche enough these days. I've just seen people who are so successful by really cloning their little slice of the market. And there are niches that you just would not imagine are even niches that you wouldn't believe that people make money in these sorts of things. Yeah, actually, I think that this kind of relates to one of our other pieces, which is that TikTok is really driving a lot of these marketing predictions, regardless if you're on TikTok or not, right? It doesn't mean that you have to be on TikTok to see this across of multiple channels. Whenever somebody says they have something like a really niche product, I get really excited. I'm like, oh, you're gonna find your like tiny corner of the internet. And I think because we're seeing these hyper niche areas on TikTok, people are realizing that there are other people who are interested in, again, those hyper niche elements, and it's driving it to email, it's driving it to other socials, it's driving it to SEO. I spend a lot of time on Reddit. I absolutely love Reddit. And there are just sub niches and subcultures that you would never, ever think of. And what I love about Reddit is it people will just give you these voluminous comments you might post a question and you will get 20 30 40 very well thought out answers by people who are just crushing it in that niche the next trend that i want you to be aware of is segmentation and personalization and i often say generality repels specificity sells right so being very specific about what you do and who you do it for so what you want is for people to say hey that's for me if you serve multiple target markets or even the same target market but different kind of avatars or different personalities within the same target market, you want to really be very specific and segment and personalize as much as humanly possible. Even if you're serving multiple target market that people are feeling like the stuff is relevant for them because everyone is processing all the messages that come through to them through a filter. And the first filter, is this for me or is this not for me? When you're opening your email and I'm exactly the same, I've got my delete key hovering over emails. Irrelevant, delete, irrelevant, delete, irrelevant, delete. Ah, that seems relevant to me. Okay, I'll open that. So you want to do the exact same thing, be very relevant. And you do that with segmentation and personalization. One of the areas that I've been looking at lately is AI. So you can now generate computer generated audio, video, images, text using AI. You may have heard me talk about augmentation rather than automation. And a lot of people are talking about AI, 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 hey, it's going to replace all of these jobs and all of these sorts of things. It's not. It's going to certainly reduce the amount of labor that's required to do something just like technology has always done, right? I think labor is just going to move to things that are more and more productive and to areas where you can use that leverage a lot more. A lot of you have, may have seen what's happening with chat GPT. I'm really excited by AI and I'm also not afraid of it taking my job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> success wise, we're using AI to generate outline and then we're going in, we're adding our own stories. We're using the psychology we know that's really effective in, in copywriting and we're fitting that in to what AI has already created. So it's allowing us to become almost editors rather than creators, which for me, I am not sure who else feels this way, but when I look at a blank piece of paper, my brain does not do great. <laughs> we want to use this as a base, add our own stories, add in those psychology tricks and really go ahead and then use this as the base. I'm using it to augment my abilities. I'm using it to save me time doing what I normally would have done. And it's certainly not going to replace your personal experiences and the stories that you've got. Now, the other ways that we're using it other than text and writing copy is video descript. It's basically a video and audio editor that allows you to visually edit your recordings. It'll transcribe them and you can like remove words just like you would in a Google doc. I'm experimenting with another AI called Synthesia at the moment, which does create video. They've got talking head videos and you can get them to say pretty much anything. We use Page Optimizer Pro for all of our SEO to make sure that we've got all the keywords in the right place. So that's another version of AI that, that we're utilizing regularly as well. So the point we're making here is use AI, use these tools to help augment your abilities, but don't get faked out by thinking, hey, 
this is just going to do it all for me. It's not going to build the strategy. It's not going to build the stories. And one thing that I'm seeing that's really exciting is a lot of people doing story first, product second. There's examples that I really want to use here. Jeffree Star, it's a kind of niche. He's in the makeup industry. So he actually paired up and did a YouTube series where it was called The Fabulous Life of, Ex of Jeffree Star. And they went through like what his normal life was and then into creating this makeup palette. <laughs> the fifth episode ended with this palette's about to go online. They broke Shopify. Shopify went down. They could not get, they had so much demand for this ridiculous eye, eyeshadow palette that was fairly overpriced to begin with by showing the story of who he was and why he decided to make it and choosing the colors that they broke it. And it was an incredible marketing piece. It's like the power of the personal brand. I think building a personal brand is going to be more important than ever before. Just having your own authentic stories, people follow people. I think being polarizing is so important. Being a personal brand, you know, having that line in the sand where you say, here is who I'm not for, and here is who I am for. It's going to be incredibly important for you to be aware of what's happening in the marketplace, where things are going, because there have been massive shifts going on, both technologically, demographically, psychographically, in what's happening with tools, with team, with all of those aspects of marketing and business in general.